Good day, people. This is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees, and we're over here at number 69, Magnolia Tree. And there, I came. I wasn't going to video it. I was just going to check it because we got rain coming in a couple hours. We got some queen cells that's supposed to be hatching. But this one here is a single nuke. And uh, once I opened it, I figured I'd go get me on my video. This frame wasn't in it. This frame here was just from somewhere else. I put here to catch some of these bees. Put that down so I can see. Okay, but this is the piece of comb that I took off of it. It's just white comb. Nothing in it. We'll take it over there. But what we had was when I took this top off, it had all this honeycomb sticking up like that. They fell over when I leaned this frame up against it. But if they're getting crowded, you need to check your hive anyway. But uh, this is what they did, and they built it down to the top of the frame. So we're going to take all them off. There's nothing in these in the, the cones, so we're not going to we're not going to attach them to a, a foundation this high. There's no there's nothing in them. And we'll put it in our wax melter and melt it. They're just building foundation up there because they, they need the room. Been doing other things here instead of doing what I should do. Here's another one that he built on there. Put all them bees back in there. Uh, let's see what about this big one here. This one here they were going to put drones or honey in. It's already got some honey in it. It's already got some honey in it. There's a lot of bees on there. Yep, honey in the corner. Now we're going to leave that for them. Crawling up my shirt sleeve again. They're saying that's their honey and they want it. Bless their little hearts. And they can have it. Yeah. Stick it over here. Mm -hmm. That way we won't get anybody confused. Then we got two big ones down here. Now a lot of these has babies on them. Baby nurse bees. And they're doing a fantastically wonderful job. This one here has, I don't know, not much enough to know that one. So we'll put it over here to melt it. It's got one more down here, it's a big one. And if I'd have had my frames in there, and if I'd have been checking this better, 
we wouldn't have had this. We'd have had a couple more frames of built out up here. This is the last one. And I'll lower the camera in just a couple minutes. But this is what happens. That's what happens if you squish a bee. There we go now. Now, we're going to um, take care of those bees. We're going to take these two tops off right here, or actually there's three, because I'll put an extra one on it. There we go. Now this feeder, okay, I'm going to drop it down just a little bit. To right there. Okay. And what we're going to do <laughs> is, um, see they've got this little winch. That's them. Got it. Got it tied down. Okay. Look at back where I can see you. The little girl sitting on the phone. Um, Take this box here. Sit it right there. Now this this foundation here is covered with honey. This is just waxed cells here. Let's see what we've got here. It's a good brood train. It's a good honey frame, so we're going to sit it on the outside. Because it's got big cells in it. Let's see if we can get sure these bees off of that hurt. some of this wax off here we get down here in this hive and see what we got. Now I could put them in eight frame hive and I'll probably come back later once it clears up and do that. But this one this here has honey on it. We're gonna give it back to them right there. Now we got a lot of bees along the edge here. So, spray them with the smoke. There we go. This one here. It's 
through. That was on the outside. Give more room to keep it from swarming. Make sure there's no swarm cells in there. Get my flashlight. And uh, yes, there it is. I didn't use it this morning, but okay, this one's got some drones on it. Eggs, larvae. This would be a good one to make us a big wig, but that's what we're doing. I do want to show y'all, Char Charlie asked about um, making splits and you know like I told him you you know you gotta do it to learn it out here because we don't have a school. The school is T V. It's kinda like the kids, you know, they kick in anyway, they're like a school. You know, they're home doing it on a computer. And when I started I think we had a computer, but uh, don't remember a whole lot about it. I didn't know how to work it anyway. My wife went to school for learning computers back then, about 25 years ago, 26. Her and a friend of mine. Um, told me I need to get a computer. And I asked him why, because I had a good Royal typewriter. This one here is loaded down. Might need a double deep by next week or as soon as the weather changes. I'm not even looking for the queen people. It's just laid up. And put it back in here right now. Some people gonna complain about me shaking the bees like that. It's okay. There we go.
pretty frame on both sides. Yes, yeah. five frames are brewed. Y'all can see the bees hanging on it again. I think. Oh, yeah. There you go. See the bees? Now, I don't want to take them away from this, uh, this hive. Because if you take them away from the hive, they could fall off. And if the bees can fall off, you may have a queen on there and fall off too. This one's loaded up with got drones. Has stores. There you go. I'd like to see the queen and catch her. But now, has somebody else asked me about uh, how high I? Stack my hives. I do. I like using two double deep. I mean, two deep, eight, well, eight frames, ten frames, five frames, and uh, we're gonna put this one over here. Okay, now we've got two left. A good frame to lay on, so all these others is filled up, so we're gonna put these in between them. I don't really like putting brews up against the wall. They're already in there. This is the bees that was in the bottom, and I put this one in there. So we're going to put this one here. Put this one back around the way it's supposed to be. See how quick those bees got on there? Okay, now. You gotta be careful when you put them in because this area right here, the bees will roll off. Oh, there was no beetles. Go in real slow. down like that then we can squish those other frames in. There we go. See, none of them rolled off. And that's what we like. Now what we're going to do is put some pollen in there. I'm going to tell you what, I didn't see enough pollen in there to um, Our food really sustained this hive. Gee, that's a big word for you, Sam. Yeah, I know. Uh, 
got that one. Now we're going to put this box back on top. off the top that y'all can't see, but I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to open that little top hole up here a little bit. feeder off over here. Tap the beads in there. Got a bunch of bees up there at the top, up, up here. That's why one of the other reasons I quit using them, other than I couldn't get them anymore because I don't drink anymore. Everything in the world got so expensive that I had to stop doing a few things. Quit smoking, which is a good thing. There we go. 